We're back with Dr. Deborah Gilboa talking about the new law allowing students five mental health days a year. And here to shed more light on this topic is the Director of Student Services at a local Illinois school, Tim Alvarez. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you. So Tim, as a school administrator, what are your thoughts on this law that we're debating? And I, I understand Illinois, your state, is one that has implemented it, correct? We have, we have, and, and I have to tell you, I'm, I'm a fan of the, of the law. I think our kids have been struggling for years, um, even prior to the pandemic. You know, our, our school district, we're a large suburban school district with 25,000 students in 31 schools. And even before the pandemic, we were seeing a 4.7 decrease in enrollment with a 110% increase in hospitalizations. Those statistics don't lie. What has been the response that you've seen from parents? We've had mixed responses, very similar to the conversation that we've been having here today. We have some parents that are, are big fans of the idea because they see the struggle from our students. Um, and we have some that say, come on, bootstraps, let's go, get them back in school. They need, they need to be learning, you know, English, math, science, and social studies. Uh, you know, so we've seen, we've seen all sides of it. Gotcha, Tim. And, and what, about the, what about the kids? Do they appear to appreciate it and uh, take advantage of it in the way that we hope they do? You know, we have seen that. We have seen students that have used it for good reasons. Um, a lot of the supports that I talk about in our district include, you know, doing uh, social emotional learning screeners, having crisis text lines on the back of IDs, um, doing a whole bunch of things, including probably one of the most significant initiatives that we've had, which is the Signs of Suicide program. And that is um, an educational piece that has, uh, teaches kids how to look for signs of concern from their peers, be able to ask them very direct questions about, have they ever in their entire life thought about committing suicide? Have they ever had a plan? And I will tell you, we do that with all of our middle and high school students. And every single time that we do this, we find at least one, more like three to five students who have an active plan, that have the means to carry out that plan, that are on no one's radar. Parents don't know about these kids. The school don't, doesn't know about these kids. And we get them direct support to be able to, you know, honestly save lives. Um, so, yes, I think that this bill, this, this law is extremely important for us to continue to open the conversation about mental health. Are there pros and cons to this? For sure. Um, and, and we see that from the kids. We see that from the parents. But again, I feel like... Um, Increasing the conversation reduces the stigma and the supports that we provide for our kids is vitally important to the success of and their health and well-being. Well, that's huge. I mean, even if it's if you're saving one life that you've identified um, a child that's so depressed that they're they're actually considering taking their life. I mean, if we can get help to the kids, that that would be a great thing. 